freedom. I found the video, I've linked it. Start with that. So I've never done this before, but I'm calling a worship, a time of worship for your sake. Straight from the Lord. God's not doing it. I mean, gosh, see what they do. God is doing it. God is doing it. Just put your headphones in. I don't care if you're working today. Do it. If you can get off work, do it. Forget about it. This is what you do with your time. Now, Glory may not have puppies. He's aborted the mission. Well, it's not supposed to come first. The glory, the fire comes first. The fire and harvest. So here we've got it. Number two. My, I prayed when I walked up this hill. Make my dogs a testimony. They are a testimony. Now when you watch, I don't know if that's his first ever performance. There's one more that he did the live it's a live recording of Freedom. Um, I didn't have that, but I think I've got the right one that I've linked. When you listen to him, he is the angel to the church. I'm just going to say this. I haven't been full circle on it. Is it Lacedalia? And he's in the church. This is good. He is in the church. But he knows. He's a prophet. He is on my back. Rick Jordan is not on my back. Jonathan Clicks not on my back. Um, Billy Dorsey is not on my back. Jason Upton is on my back. He's a neglect. I know it sounds arrogant, but I am carrying him so he doesn't fall. He's traveling and he took a wrong turn. This is what the Lord has shown me, this song. And fire and yellow, the harvest, is happening now today it happened yesterday yesterday I had to pray through that corner <clears throat> no the day before I had to pray for that corner that's when Des arrived that's when I heard them in the amphitheater that's when I, I blocked them on Facebook both of them I will not have it any longer and I will not be caught in room 8 the Lord has shown me that the enemy wants to catch me and roommate on that concrete cornerstone, my third cornerstone. The builders in Esher built. I didn't know what the Lord was doing. I know what it's going to finish as. I do think it's another year. I'm not saying any more than that. I'm saying this is what you do today. When I went to sleep last night, I have a date this afternoon at about 3 o'clock, right? With the man with a tattoo. He told me the tattoos he got yesterday. It's of a pair of lips right above his penis. Nice. And he's not sure if he wants it on his ass. My husband has a spider on his ass. He got it to remind him never to be bit by a woman again. I have a lizard, a demonic lizard on my ass. I did it in my story just before I was pregnant, when I was trying to get pregnant with Amy. Remember what Cleek has shared. Can you know God is both these things? He created Elohim. So he's in control of all this. You can turn it up. Everything can be redeemed. But he, it can't be if you get trapped in room 8. The Lord showed me that they want to trap me. So yesterday, I have my plan. I have my fireplace. I have this unit, the standard to build it at, the measurements. He told me to come in from the corner and mark out where the fireplace goes. I'm not doing it today. I'm obeying him just like Carpenter. I've had my glasses on. The truth is, get herded. Take them off and recognize and see Jesus today. Obey him, take them off. Trust him. Take them off and you'll see him. You will see roommate, you will see infinity, you will see it in your testimony. 
Do you care about the harvest? Do you care about what Jesus cares about? Do you care about the harvest? Or do you just care about yourself? Do you have his heart or your own selfish heart? Because you will be caught in roommate. On that YouTube video, you can hear Jason's utterance. It is to, he is Cheyenne Indian. He's adopted into his family. He had a wonderful upbringing, unlike mine, but mine was nowhere near as bad as my mother's. I'm not complaining. I'm praising the Lord for it. So do that. Do not celebrate what the enemy has done in your life. Consider it pure joy because you are hated for his name's sake. You have freedom. We are leaving to the wilderness. Do you understand? It's not the lukewarm church that goes there. The birth that happened in this the sign is Joseph's dreams. Look at Joseph's dreams. That baby goes up because we gave birth to it. It is Jesus, yes. The woman is then chased by Lucifer, Satan, into the wilderness, but the Lord raises a hand and intervenes. The water, he sends the water after her. The water comes up, but the Lord has the water swallowed up right it's over the lord has the water swallowed up it's over it's all done it is finished come on guys that hole i went past and drove past that hole and my foot went into the fines he didn't even squash it down so i'm still driving right close to the containers i'll get stuck there that truck there's going to deliver my window In Jesus name it's gonna deliver my window and you can hear there's no accident that Jason Upton is Cheyenne Indian what's happening here in New Zealand with the indigenous peoples the it's the exemplar I know what an exemplar is I'm a teacher it's the the exemplar is the perfect teaching scenario dog shit watch out and I taught from an exemplar when I was at school right when I was a teacher I did an assignment and I taught from one of the exemplars that the curriculum sent out <coughs> this is what it was called it's a puzzle it was technology curriculum, which is science, technology, right? The exemplar exercise that I did with the children was this. Draw, uh, creating out of junk, found objects, a chessboard for the blind. And all my students excelled. They were 12, 10 and 12, and I did this, it wasn't in the exemplar, I went to a blind school and I asked them to test the prototypes that they made. I went to the junk shop, provided the materials and tested the prototypes and we chose the winner. The blind people chose the winner. It was a chessboard that they could use. There was three outstanding works from these children. I was a good teacher, but my career went down the tubes when my husband separated, well, asked me to leave, right? That's why I was hunted. It's got, it has no reflection on my gifts. I have the best rapport with children than the direct, that the director of the New Zealand Graduate School had seen for a long time. 
she wrote it for a reference. That's why I got the job. The job where I risked everything to, test, to testify about Jesus to a parent who was going to jail. And on the way, the Lord gave me a vision of an Alsatian dog. And I got to the door. She didn't have a car to pick her up. She wanted one last night out before she went to jail. She had a child. I was teaching her child. And I said, the Lord, show me an Alsatian dog. And she cried her eyes out. She said, that's my dog. It died. It used to protect me and Michaela. Then on the way to this pub, which was a strip club, I told her that I also had a dream. And the Lord told me to, to give her a chessboard. And she said, she didn't cry this time. She said, oh, my grandfather and I used to play chess when we were children. Well, I was a child. It must have been her only close family member that got around her, her grandfather. He's very important to her, but he's dead, she said. But he's speaking to me now. And I said, oh, yeah, one of those ones. Oh, yeah, what's he saying? Um, how many times have I told you that? Three times I've told you that. Joseph said he had dreams, who said he was Gabriel. I said, oh, yeah, what? He, I, he didn't say he had dreams. I got it out of him. I said, you're Joseph, you have dreams. What are your dreams? When Christopher came to the house and saw that and released death, he said to me, I have an army. Nine, oh, no, 11, no, nine. And it was just before the Lord showed me my army of 12, 13, including me, which means rebellion, which we're not worried about. Because you look at the disciples, there's 12 and Jesus. It is a rebellion. We were rebellious. We are a rebellious generation. Don't get caught in room eight. Do you have a team? Do you know who you are? Do you know the song? It's glorious. Are you in the harmony, the melody? Where are you? Where do you fit? All these things the Lord will tell you if you obey him. And you will not get caught in roommate. Because I'm not saying that it's not going to happen to me. He showed me and I forgot to mention it. He showed me the corner and he t told me that the enemy has plans on putting me in roommate in the future. Now, when he said before I went to sleep, I have a date this afternoon, about three o'clock I have to leave. He said, T -t tomorrow you rest. So I'm not going to go in that corner. But I know what I need to do. I need to come in from that corner. And I've already, yes, two days ago I straightened it. Do you want to know how far out it was? Because I have to build on my own. The, I... I struggled to do this. Look how crooked it was. Right? Then I prayed and the Lord helped me do this. This now is straight. I've got that right. It's straight. Now I need to go in. I don't know. I didn't check the unit standards for that, how to do that. I don't know how to fit that. The Lord had me go yesterday to a place that sells new ones. They want to sell me a new one. They want to sell me a new one, but I'm using that one. I have the dimensions and plans where it goes. I need to come in from that corner, find the dis find from there, across to there. Now that there is just sitting. I have two bolts I can undo. I have to go back and square that up now that I've got the outside squared up. It actually looks quite good. I have to get that right back to there. Then I've got a straight back wall. I've got my 1500 fire half. I need to get the space around it right before I put this concrete in. And I have posts going in here. 
there is way too much that can go wrong here in this build. He wants to put me and roommate here. This is the concrete cornerstone. I sort of hope you're not watching this because you should be worshipping, but I don't know what the Lord's doing with individuals. This is the tree of Babylon. It's red wood. It's turned white, but that's a cornerstone for my garden. I couldn't get a stake in there. I dragged that from the beach. It took me an hour and hurt. It's not easy. But the Lord said it's easy as. It's just some of these things are quite hard labour that I have to do on my own. So I'm not saying I didn't screw up with that, but I had to lift that on my shoulder. Um, this is my cornerstone. I will dig that out. You've seen a picture of it. This is what I found yesterday. And I put it there. Look at that Orphic egg. That, that, that's sitting there now. That's going to stay there. I was sitting here and I saw it down there. Okay. Okay, it's not Clex two stones, but for me and my testimony, it's equivalent. You have a testimony. You need to obey God. You overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony. Stop hiding. You don't hide from them. You hide in Christ. He hides you. Testify, testify, testify. They'll take down, write it down. Jason Upton is the angel to the church. I think it's Lacedania. The beginning of last year, he he released a song, re-released. Write everything down. Write everything down. God finds us. Thank goodness, he finds us, okay? Write everything down. Write everything down. Start writing if you haven't yet. <clears throat> That's the expectation. The Lord said, write this up, and the next morning I wrote, and I've no, never stopped. You, you'll never get to that place unless you start in faith. I've given out so many exercise books, and nobody's writing in them. But that's what I do. My husband has a book next to him that's empty. It's always been empty. And he has a message Bible. That's the last one they'll change. There's a reason why I've got a message. Bible. It might be enough. They don't even use the message as one of the um, comparative versions, right? It's hidden. It's hidden. And the Lord helped that man write the message Bible. He calls it the angel army he went the heavenly host he calls it the angel army the angel army that's what we are they know who you are that's why I met the man in the square who said he was Joseph and that's who God said I was and now I know now that he's also said that he was the angel Gabriel and that's it's not who I am but it's who my angel is do you understand He's not the angel Gabriel. He had black feathery wings. They are going to do signs and wonders. And they will take the harvest. If you don't be in a position where you can transform from glory to glory and you need to start. Because he's coming for a perfect spotless bride and he can, the Lord will finish that work he started in you. But you need to obey. So worship now, worship now, worship your God. Because it is the Pharaoh. It is the Egyptian eye. It is coal. But the Lord renamed her Amy, which means love. And a, a person took a puppy and changed the name to Amor, which is the male version of love. One of the songs that Jonathan Clip had, uh, that Jason Upton has on his radio, is not his. He has a couple that jump in there, and it's French, and it says Amar, Am or Ma, Amour. 
and more. The lady, there's two breeders. One of them's cursed. The other one's just lost one of her puppies. She had six puppies and she just messaged me yesterday that one died. Oh, she had seven puppies. She messaged me yesterday that one died. Now she has six. The lady, Jess, has decided not to use yellow as a stud and gone to Ollie, which is Fire's father. And her dog has a litter of six identical, two twins, exact twins, of Glory's six. I saw the twins, one of Midnight and one of Molly. I've sent them to Mark. Well, a day or so later, one of them died. So she, they, she only has five. What has happened to um, Gloria's puppies? I tell you what's happened to her. I don't know what's. I don't know. She may have a puppy, but she. I took a photo of her. She's going back to gold. Like she's had some sort of booster shot. She may have absorbed them. She's supposed to have these puppies in ten days. There is not much going on here she may have one or two I don't know what the Lord's doing but guaranteed fire has a litter now I'm doing a circle this is it's not a time loop it's the Lord showing you at Christmas Day she had a litter now she's supposed to have a second one and on the 7th of the 7th and there's this issue she's not showing she was knotted five times every time she's been knotted she's had a litter now, fire's knotted now, and that's what happened at the beginning of the year. I had two litters. Glories had gone, and then fire had hers. She had, a th had hers three days earlier than how long Glory carries her. So she had hers in 58 days, fire had hers. And Glory has hers in 62 days. She's done it twice, exactly 62 days. One was New Year's Eve, 2020. She had her pups. The second was Christmas Day. What's in there? What's in there? Now, that's the Lord's business, but we'll find out. Um, I'm not going to try and guess. And, you know, like I could be wrong. But my feeling is that what's, what I noticed... Was it this today is that not only is she going gold but her legs have gone white 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 stand up miss I want to see you come on stand up oh I know what I'll do come on stand up look at that stand up stand up oh she's got it right now Her legs are white. Hey, good girl. Good girl. Right. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Oh, the, Jonathan, um, when you watch the video, you will hear Jason Upton. He's Cheyenne Indian. And he's doing an utterance. It's a long six minute clip live and I can hear the Cheyenne Indian. Now when I got invited to go to the Celebration Centre in 2018, I went because of my dream. I haven't been to church for 15 years. I'd been house church and then no church. And then um, I went up seeking the Lord because of what the heck was going on in my family and then I was revived I was in revival and I made everyone look bad in the church there was a time where I was on the ground praying there must have been I don't remember it particularly but Marty said to me that the lady who invited me to church messaged him and said what's wrong with Lisa she's on the ground speaking Māori 
that's what she heard. Now, I wasn't. I was speaking in tongues. I haven't spoken Māori so that it's the language like acts. No, I haven't. But everything is in line. I know how to phonetically sound out the words. And so does Jason Upton. The exemplar is this. First the Lord is out of respect, and I don't know why. The land is cursed, right? It's gone through a lot of death, cannibalism, um, lots of really horrific war and history to do with every culture and ethnic group against ethnic group. That's what it is. It's not just the English, because the English is just a tribe, you understand that. They're Celts, or they're Irish, or they're Scottish, it's just the Vikings, they're Celtics, it's just uh, the Pygmies, they're, they're a tribe. It's like the Russians, you look at their people groups, it's people groups, it's World Christian Mission people groups. He will speak to them first prophetically, and what their response is, will dictate what happens on your land. I don't think things will go well in America, but that doesn't stop you doing what you're called to. Jason will do what he's called to. But there is a remnant in every group, creed, color, and race, and there are Indians in America that will be spoken to. They will hear the word of the Lord. Then it goes out to everyone else, and the glory falls. And that is your immigration policy. And you do not need to get on a plane because we will do greater things. You will move where you need to move if you are in the angel army. Do you hear me? You need to be in that army because the Lord is the Lord of the har harvest. He is charging through it. Do you, What will it take for you to follow him? He is the captain of the ship. He told me that. They mock it. Um, what's his name? There's a song called Captain the Ship by, it's not Lou Reed, it's the other one. He has a dark, dark voice. He's, I'll try and remember it. Leonard Cohen. You see the images in his cartoon video. Here's a song called Captain of the Ship. It's mockery. It's like Bob Dylan's um, Any Day Now, where he talks about the Messiah coming from the west to the east. It's not. It's the east to the west. But we're going to see their Messiah, and then our Messiah is going to come almost immediately first. He's the white horse. He holds a sword. I don't know what John saw, but the Lord is telling me he's holding a sword. I'm the only one in that harvest field. The church is like Tibet in the rocks above. That picture needs to change. And it needs to change now. Get your ass into gear. Get your ass into gear. You're in a time loop if you don't realise this is happening. Worship is the key. Worship now, worship now. Do you want to leave Egypt? Because the call is gone out. Jonathan Kett called it. The emergency alert went. The Lord has shown me what you need to do. I'm not getting caught in that corner in room eight. So I'm going to go worship. I'm going to encourage you to worship. I've never done anything like this. It's not one of those stupid calls to fast or to pray. Pray. Worship is the key. Where the sun sets free is free indeed. I'm going to have to make this part two. Part one is more important.